Hey, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, October 8, 2018. Looking at fire potential impacts over the next few days, we will see cool and wet weather through midweek, with accumulating snow possible above between 7 and 8,000 feet um, through the period. Unsettled weather will continue to impact the area through the end of the work week. Over the past 24 hours, we continue to see precipitation across uh, portions of the Great Basin, mainly across Utah and parts of the Arizona Strip in Nevada. Uh, not too much lightning was associated with these storms. Fire activity is really diminished across the Great Basin with the cooler, wetter weather that we've seen. Over the past seven days, um, precipitation has really increased dramatically. Um, you can see the image on the left shows the observed precipitation. And pretty much the entire Great Basin has seen, has seen some precipitation over the past seven days. If we look at how that compares to normal, you can see that um, quite a few areas in the Great Basin are above normal. ERCs have diminished dramatically over the past uh, week or two. You can see ERCs are almost um, exclusively below the 50th percentile across the Great Basin. So for today, we have a low pressure system that is exiting from the area. Uh, you can see it uh, reflected here on the um, upper level heights. And on the right, you can see our significant fire potential map, which has all of our areas in the green category. Uh, winds will be generally light across the majority of the area today. Uh, the strongest winds will be across parts of southern Nevada. Uh, we will continue to see showers across the area, um, rain and snow showers, with the greatest coverage across portions of eastern Utah, but also um, impacting parts of northwestern Nevada. As we move into Tuesday, another system will impact the northern part of the Great Basin. You can see the moisture associated with that system here on this um, 500 millibar uh, image. And with that uh, next uh, storm dropping in, you can see from the image on the right, uh, we will see um, showers, rain and snow showers across the northern part of the Great Basin uh, with the heaviest accumulations across the northern part of the area closest to that storm. Winds will be generally light across the area tomorrow. So moving to Wednesday, that storm will begin to make its way out of the area. Um, and as that departs, uh, we will see another day of um, showers of rain and snow across the northern part of the Great Basin. Over the next three days, we are expecting to see additional precipitation. The greatest, greatest accumulations will be across Idaho and parts of northern Utah. On Thursday, that next weather system will shift south into the Great Basin, and so we will see some um, showers across uh, parts of Utah and into Nevada. And as we move into Friday, uh, moisture begins to clear out of the area. We will see northerly flow across much of the Great Basin, which means that temperatures will be very slow to rebound. Uh, that will continue into Saturday with a very similar pattern. Uh, temperatures below normal um, with that northerly flow. And finally on Sunday, we're looking at a very similar pattern with not too much uh, moisture in the area, but um, northerly flow keeping those temperatures lower. In the seven-day period, uh, we are looking at pretty similar accumulations as what we were looking at in the three-day period with the majority of the precipitation falling across Idaho and Utah. Finally, in the 8 to 14 day period, <clears throat> the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures um, and close to normal precipitation. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.